Hey. Um, so again, my name is Michaela. Um, I would like to thank the Arts and Tech team and Dr. Shackelford for forwarding those questions. There were a few questions that I didn't get the chance to address. So thank you for forwarding those to me and I'm gonna try my best <laughs> to answer those. Um, the first one is who set the example for you that the arts and science needn't be mutually exclusive pursuits? So I think it's a mixture of my mom and a handful of professors that um, highlighted the fact that they are one and the same. My mom um, wanted to be an engineer um, and was formally taught in art and drew those comparisons in thought and process um, creatively thinking like that, like that transfers into the engineering mind. Um, even when we think of systems, I know we talked a lot about that on Thursday, like systems are not this, this bland thing. It's creative, strategically and creatively thinking about a system to like mesh things that are alike and unalike together. Like it takes some creative thinking, some artistic thinking to think like that. Um, or even like in the design of something, like uh, I know in humanistic, um, engineering or social engineering and mechanical engineering all these engineerings like we think of design a lot of like how are we going to create this machine how are we going to um, outline this data how are we going to code this and that in itself is it takes literal creative thinking to formulate that to fit our client and our audience um so i think they're one and the same but like language has been sort of like the barrier that's been um creating a divide there or you know we always talk about left and right brain um thinking but like and I don't know how this is going to sound but like our brain is one piece and so it's not really separate in that way um but you know many people may say something different but that's my thoughts there and then can you listen to music while problem solving as an artist and or engineer without being distracted <laughs> if so what are you listening to so I can and I do. Right now I have music lightly playing in the background, uh, Nina Simone. Um, so typically like when I'm doing artist work, I can listen to any and all things. It just, I'm really, I'm learning this about myself more and more each day, how emotionally driven I am, how much of an empath I am. So music is like a display of my emotions and feelings at the time, or like, um, you know, if I'm feeling really excited and like i'm working on a piece that just i don't know i want to move more while i work then i'll play like more upbeat like 70s funk or soul um you know early 80s or so um made a whole playlist for it so i can work with it um or like if i'm feeling more blues like this piece um the first piece i made like it was a more deeper piece it was like more of a self-reflection and like my depression and anxiety battles. Um, so I play more of like the classic blues and soul for it to really feel the enrichment there. Um, so whatever I'm kind of, the message I'm trying to portray in my art, I try to uh, synchronize it with the music I'm listening to. Um, because when I have conflicting, sometimes I will say I do have a like a different um, set genre that contrasts with how I'm feeling. Um, just to challenge myself sometimes, but it just really depends on the piece. But in the engineering realm, I try not to play things that are so distracting because then I'll pay attention way more to the music and the lyrics or the instrumentation behind it rather than the homework that's in front of my face or the practice test. Um, <laughs> so like if I'm working on like academic studying and all that, like then I try to play um, things like, well, Duval Timothy is someone I'm currently listening to now who's more of an instrumentalist, genius. But the thing is like, I am much like um, Lois where like, um, well, I won't say much like, she's brilliant in her own respects, but like I, I really pay attention to the music intricately. Um, I'm sure Mr. Jones does as well. Um, but you know, I really analyze it. And so what I do is listen to music like on a car ride or a walk or something like that before to see like, can did you pass the test of not distracting me? Or like, I've listened to this so many times now I can like, I've honored it, I spent time on it. So now I can listen to it while working on some, um, which is really complex. But yeah, like <laughs> that's essentially what I do or like nature sounds with uh, instrumentation behind it. And there's like a number of Spotify playlists that I use there that I can link um, also. 
um and i'll link my other playlist as well because i love sharing music um but how would you all want uh, this is the last question how would you all want and wish to see yourselves or your neighborhood at the end uh, of this unique time and it says although science shows there won't be an end to this so um really great question i think that on my end i would like to see people continuing to challenge themselves in the way that we've been forced to challenge ourselves but like without the force part i think you know we work well under um, we work well when we're forced to do something for the most part um but i would like people to organically and naturally just like grow more curiosity more interest in opening their mind um engaging more in tough conversations post this you know showing more respect for people showing more understanding and if they don't have it then educating themselves to really gain that like i would like to see the energy and momentum i've been seeing during covid and you know this time of heightened social justice to carry forward like um so because before that it was like people were really comfortable um, I know we talked a lot about that Thursday as well of like the comfort that people are like, yeah, I know what racism is. Yeah, I know um, what health and safety is. I know I should wash my hands. But like, you know, I've been shocked to even like on the hand washing thing, like people before weren't washing their hands or washing their hands for like running the hand under water and then leaving. Now it's like we've drawn so much attention to no 20 seconds, sing the happy birthday song, sing a song in general for 20 seconds and then you're good and how to even properly wash your hands, right? So like I want those behaviors carried forward because they benefit us in the long run and they are for our betterment. So that's just what I wanna see. Um, simple things like that, which aren't as simple for some people, which is fine. But I, I would like for those people to continue working toward those things. Um, yeah, that's all I have. Again, thank you. Beautiful event, beautiful opportunity. Um, and thank you all for attending.